The CDC could be updating its social distancing guidelines as soon as tomorrow. We're learning that it will be recommending schools follow a three-foot distance between students rather than six feet. ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano shows us how this could affect San Diego schools as students return to in-person learning. According to an administration official, the CDC will recommend schools to enforce a three-foot social distance between students instead of six as early as Friday. The change comes after a study in Massachusetts found no difference of infection rates among masked students who sat three feet apart as opposed to six. The safest place to be is on the other side of the planet. UCSD's infectious disease expert Dr. Robert Schooley says along with distancing, schools must consider air exchange and good masking. There is nothing in life that's zero risk and all of this is trying to balance the risks uh, against the, the benefits and certainly none of us want to have kids out of school forever. San Diego Unified School Board President Richard Barrera says the district will not follow the CDC's new three-foot guidelines come April 12th. We do not want to try to cram, you know, as many students as we possibly can into a classroom. The district already has an agreement with the teachers union to have six-foot distancing with occasional allowance for five feet. In order for a couple of students to be in a class without having to break the class into, you know, separate cohorts, uh, that if um, we were able to do that at a five foot distance rather than a six foot distance, you know, we, we would be able to do that. Right now, the district is sending forms to parents asking if they wish to send their children back to in-person learning. If more students decide to come back than what can fit into a classroom, the class will have to split into different cohorts. Are we able to bring students back four days a week? Or if we have to uh, split into cohorts, it would probably be like a two day a week for one cohort and two day a week for the other. Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. The district says for the remainder of the school year, it will follow the six foot rule. It may consider the CDC three foot guideline in the fall.